Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new video and this is why I brought a brand new lens. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So yes guys, I have brought a brand new lens but before we get into the brand new lens, two things. First thing, yes, it is much darker behind me. I'm just trying something new. If you guys like this, please let me know. And also, sorry for the audio quality in this video. If it's not to the usual standard, my audio recorder stopped working. So I'll be getting that back to scratch in the next video. But yes, this brand new lens has come in this totally non-suspicious white box. But yeah, so we're gonna be unboxing it and I'll be giving you the reasons why I brought this brand new lens. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, all the bubble wrap and stuff, give me a second. Prefer this thing came in one day off eBay. Um, so yeah, it was really good. Hopefully this is in focus for you lot. Um, but yeah, this is the Helios. Helios 44-58mm lens, if I'm not miscorrected. It is a vintage lens, which is not as used as much anymore, but it's starting to come back into fashion because of the unique qualities which it has, which I'll be talking about today. So yeah, I hope you guys can see this all good and proper. I'm gonna take the lens cap off. Hopefully not touching the lens because you know I'm not trying to get that all blurry. So yeah, this is it. I might be able to see reflections in this actually. But yeah, so this is the lens. Um, it's a screw fitted mount so I had to buy an adapter for this which increased the price but it was worth it. And now let me get into why this is a new brand lens I brought. So the first reason why I brought this lens is because the type of films I create are very thriller, um, suspenseful, drama films and the unique qualities this lens gives you and yes I did almost drop the lens <laughs> the unique qualities this lens gives you is um, very good it gives you a lot of the lens flare in certain shops and shots and if you're wondering why I, or how I came across this lens I saw it been mentioned it was used in the new Batman film and I really like the directive vision in that film. I hated the film personally, I'm not a massive Batman fan anyway, I know some people that's a bit controversial but you know I'm not the biggest Batman fan but I appreciate the Batman films however the most recent film was not it in my opinion. So yeah, but the creative vision in the new film was one of the better ones. Not a lot of people like it, they say it was too artsy, but I really loved it because that's what I'm into. And they said a couple of the shots were shot on this lens. Now, don't get it misunderstood that this lens here yeah, did not shoot the whole Batman film. So, that everyone out go rushing out to buy this lens and I can make the next Batman film with this lens. No, it was just one of the pieces of the puzzle that made that film. But yeah, this lens has loads of creative freedom of it which I absolutely love it allows you to have lens flare in spots you wouldn't allow and it might be a mechanical fun um, mechanical problem with the lens from manufacturers however it adds its own unique value and that's why I really feel like sometimes especially the type of films I like to make vintage lenses are the way because it just allows you to get something that you can't get with a brand new digital lens so this is something to look out for guys my next short film which i'm not gonna spoil yet but be ready for it to drop soon it will be shot on this lens right here so hopefully you'll get an experience of what this lens can do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and that was a very short video um i will get talk about more of this lens once that film is dropped i don't want to spoil too much but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and peace